Check this out. Let me walk you through the mind of a person who has decided to stay after discovering infidelity, after discovering that their partner is having an affair. Embarrassment is the strongest emotion. It's stronger than love. It's stronger than uh, trust. If you embarrass a nigga, he'll he'll take a life in jail sentence just to just just to feel not like he's not embarrassed. Right. Well, he walks the street with a woman he's ashamed of, and that that's a dangerous thing. Yeah, that's true. You're not proud of the woman you with. You're not feeling like you're supposed to feel when you with her. That's what women have over us. They have the power to embarrass us so embarrass. because we bear our souls. We give them our children, and it's just a vulnerability. Like niggas ain't trying to wife the whole or have the whole really as long term. That yeah, most niggas ain't man enough to be like, you know what? No matter how much I love this broad, no, how, no matter how many of my kids she got, her choices are still her choices, and they're a reflection of her as a woman. It ain't got shit to do with me. So, so you ain't gonna fuck a man's homeboy makes you a hoe, baby girl. It's real, but that's but the hardest thing to do. When did you come to that point, though? After uh, a broad got flipped by the homies. <laughs> <laughs> These hoes ain't loyal. They have to now process emotions that they want to run from. Hurt's done. Trying to process hurt and betrayal and disappointment and frustration and disgust and resentment and anger and sadness. That's a hard pill to swallow, man. But they also have to see you, the person that they once saw as attractive, as beautiful, the person that they once believed would not hurt them. They have to see you when they are truly disgusted by you. Real time. They have to process the things that they cannot process. The wins, the where's, the why's, the how's. All of those questions that they know that they would probably never get the answers to. For real, for real. Now they have a developed fear of you possibly doing this again. It was easy for you to f her when you met her. Why do you dudes act so surprised when the woman you're with acts like the woman you met? Are y'all crazy? See, we start taking for granted these relationships. And you think the grass is going to be green on the other side. He's realizing it ain't shit out here either. There's only so much new pussy you can get. He ain't lying. Damn. We, we'd rather have a good night's sleep and a nice bowel movement. Real? We don't have a community or a culture that supports marriage. Because if you'd have came around a bunch of married people and a community that supports marriage, people would have told you, girl, you better go back home to work this out. Your father would have talked you through this, but your mama ran him away before he gave you the game. Because ain't shit out here. I'm out here. Ain't shit out here. I'm just trying to help you out, kid. I'm right. Venereal diseases and crazy shit. Say it again. Right. Venereal diseases and crazy shit. Fix your family. I'm talking about. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Realize how much it's going to take for them to truly forgive you and to truly move forward. That's not something that's going to happen in a day or a week. And you ain't got to explain nothing to me. And you honestly don't have the right to really put a time period on it. The goofiest thing that any man can do is protect and provide for a woman who's not exclusive to him. Y'all know that to be true. So this wildness of women who had one boyfriend from 21, another one from 24, another 26, then she's, you, 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 she's arriving to you after she has been sleeping with men for 10 years. Definitely give her back to the street. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button or follow and y'all be good.